Welcome back to the channel. Um, I just wanted to do a video on these. These are the Thoroughgood 1957 Briar uh, Pit Stop Leather Wedge Sole Boot Insulated Waterproof 8 Inch, right? And I wanted to do a video on these because um, I just bought these back in early October. So we're going on roughly, oh wait, what are we at here? Two months. And these have been just basically like the honeymoon phase, you know, when you just, you try to just gently break them in. Maybe you like the boots, which I do. I like the look of these things a lot. And I love the, the look of the leather. So I want to take it easy. I want to take it slow. And I didn't want to run the insulated boot for work quite yet. I just wanted to um, just give it like a, you know, casual use at first. And that's why I want to do a video now, because I am going to start working these things and I am going to hammer these things and they will be probably unrecognizable in a short amount of time. So I figured let's let's do a quick one um, and talk about the boot before I hammer away on these, because I'm going to definitely hammer these. I'm going to use them for um, work in a rotation. Initially, I'm going to use them for snow removal all the cold stuff outside because I live in the Northeast and it's, it's that season, you know, when that's, that's what we're getting now. I'm going to use them for winter hiking, winter mountain biking. I do single track mountain biking. If you're up in this area, you know what that's like in the winter. You have studded snow tires, your feet are freezing. So you need something insulated. And I, I like flat wedge soles for, um, for, uh, mountain biking anyway. So this is, this would be, this should be perfect. Although they are kind of tall for that. But I'm going to give it a shot anyway. All right, but let's talk about the boots because I, I do like them. I think they look really nice. So let's start at the bottom of these things. Um, bottom, right? These are the um, Merrimack outsole. Um, Thoroughgood calls them, I think, the Max Wear Wedge, right? It's a polyurethane base outsole, and it's very popular. It's very popular in a lot of boot brands right now. Uh, polyurethane base and this is slightly different what Thoroughgood does they put two additional lugs right here right here in the arch area which I, I like that because it keeps like this uniform I think support going on these uh, like when you're stepping down and you're starting to put a lot of weight on these things I, I, so I think that's a good idea I like that they do that a um, couple of things with the Merrimack outsole ready they absorb water and they absorb odor and stains super easy. Like this uh, wedge sole, this side section, this will pick up dirt. You're gonna have a real hard time trying to keep this clean compared to maybe a hard rubber or, or certainly like a lug sole, that type of thing. They absorb dirt super quick, like really quick. So you'll try to clean them. Like I have already tried cleaning these even though I've only hiked in them a few times and it, it'll get to the point where it'll just be impossible. And that, that's okay because they work boots, right? I mean, that's, that's okay. Um, but when you, when you do absorb water in these and, and it will happen, um, it doesn't matter because if you work in them and if you stand in them, it's going to squish out any, any water anyway. But you'll notice like if you're, if you're soaking these things out, you're going to pick up some water and the weight's going to get a little heavier. And you know, what's going to go on? What's, what's happening here? And then put your thumb here. If you ever do that, like press hard. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get some water coming out of these, uh, but that's fine. Like I said, because they'll dry out really quick. You're gonna you hammer down on them, right? And the water just just uh, just leaves. All right. Uh, then you go in closer here. That's your mid. That's your midsole. That's where the outsole gets attached to the mid, the midsole. And this is the welt here. The welt is a synthetic welt. It's not like a leather welt, uh, but the stitching is very good. It's very clean throughout the entire welt. I do like Thoroughgood's look on their welts. They have a nice looking welt, even though it's not, you know, true leather welts. It's still sharp. It's still well done, in my opinion. So I do like that. One thing I, I think I really would have loved to have seen from this boot is a stitch down in the front, especially on Thoroughgood, like right here. Like if they could have just like hammered away like a, a stitch down, I would have liked that. Because Carolina does that, Duradio does that, Danner will do that. A lot of brands do that. For some reason, I don't see that on Thorough Goods. And quick story, um, I have a friend that owns a pair of these. And he tore apart his fronts right here. Like, so the thing's like just smiling at you and it was just flopping around. 
And this happened pretty quickly too with him. Um, but he, part of that was his fault, to be honest with you, because this is what he does. He, he's almost got like a nervous tick, I swear. It's like he just, he goes like toe into the ground and he's just like, when he's talking to you, he's almost kicking it. And two weeks later, bang, tore it right off. And dirt, uh, Thoroughgood was actually really good. They um, they actually warrantied them, um, which, is, which is, they probably didn't have to, but I, I, you know, two weeks they probably should have, I guess. So I guess they did well on that. All right, so the leather. Full grain leather, right? It's super oily and it is nice. Like this is a nice leather. It is like, you can just see it. You can start, you can kind of get this. You can just see that oil is coming out of it. It's a full grain, it's waterproof. It's, I think this is tumbled. It certainly feels tumbled up top anyway. Coming down here, it feels a little stronger. Um, up front here, same thing, feels um, nice and soft. Nice USA tag there, which I like. The back here is interesting. Like this thing is like, what is this thing? I, at first, I really didn't like this on the back of the, the heel counter protector. I didn't like these. I'm like, what are these things? Couple channels says, oh, this is what it's for. This is, this is why you want that. It's because when you go to take the boot off, you're gonna hit the leather instead of the welt, and maybe you're gonna protect the welt. I really couldn't tell you. I don't know, I'm not really sure, but it, they scratch super easy because of that. So I imagine I will tear these apart anyway, like, cause I'm gonna work these things. These things are gonna get hammered. Um, like the way they do the like curve stitch here up on the assist tabs. All right, I like that. I think that's that's kind of a nice thing. Uh, the, I'll tell you what else too that's interesting on these boots is the leather uppers. I watched the video um, on these being built at the factory. The leather uppers are actually shipped in. Like they ship this portion in. Like you'll see these coming in in bags to the factory in the US for Thoroughgood. And then they just assemble the rest of the boot the rest of the way from there. So I, you see these like beautiful uppers, you know, and they come in in bags. And then, you know, their craftsmen, their employees, they, they start to assemble the boots from, you know, the bottoms up and attach the uh, uppers to them. And they ship them off. You know, it's just, it's a different way for them, I think, to build their boots. Um, and I don't know why they do that with this particular model. I'm not really sure why they do that. All right, but let's talk about the uppers really quick, okay? So this is a one-piece mock. And I like one-piece mocks because they tend not to break apart. Like, if you start doing welding and all the slag is hitting here, like, if you're welding a lot, this is almost like a catch basin. Like, it can catch a lot of that molten metal. You know what I mean? Like it just starts to catch right here and it just won't easily just roll right off. And that could be a problem if you're welding a lot and it'll obviously just ruin your stitching. And then it's, if it's a two piece mock, it's going to split open. So this won't do that. It's a one piece. Um, and I love mock toes because they're super comfortable. They give you a lot of space up here in the, t in the toe box area. Like your toes can kind of work its way up if you need to if you're super active like i'm physically active like at work i am going i'm automotive industry a lot of bending twisting a lot of chemicals everything else and it's you know i need some space up here so i do like that uh, we get triple stitch um, they do this nice little square box i think that's like extra reinforcement because a lot of boots this this could be a trouble spot on these um you get your brass eyelets one two three four five right and then you get one, two, three hooks and another eyelet. So I just tie this in a knot because it's a lot of lacing to manage. And I, I actually like to use the top. I'm not a fan of these style hooks, like these big hooks like this. Um, I'm not a super big fan of these. And they used to use a smaller one and I like those better. They just, I don't know, these are big, these are bulky. They, it's just, and they're not like super thick. Like I'm, just, I'm worried I'm gonna bend these because I have a pair of iron ranges and I've already bent those and it didn't take long for that to happen. Um, up top here, if you look at the t at the tongue, you know it's a it's a padded tongue, it's an insulated tongue, it's a waterproof tongue. You know the gusset goes up reasonably high. You're talking, you know, it goes up to this hook. I mean that's, I mean you got to go in some pretty deep water to get up this high. And I've had these in water. I haven't buried them yet. Cause like I said, I'm still in the honeymoon phase here where I'm just trying to get used to the boot. I haven't buried them, but I have gotten them wet and we have gotten nothing in there. I have not gotten anything in the welt area, any of the stitching. Um, so let's talk about the waterproofing really quick, okay? 
All right, so this boot has a liner. It's a picture like inside, right? Inside this boot, there's like a picture of plastic sock, almost like an insulated plastic sock that is right against this leather. So it comes through it, right? It goes through the toe box, through the heel or the back of the heel. And I think the way this works is it goes, I think it's glued to the leather and I think they tape the seams. I'm pretty sure they tape the seams. I'd have to watch the, um, the making of this from the original video, but I'm pretty sure that's what they do. And they have the insulation on the part that actually faces your foot. All right. All right. So it's like outsole, midsole, cork, which I like, a fiberglass shank, a lasting fiberboard, and then I believe the insulated portion goes on top of the fiberboard. It's probably a, a glued to it, and then it would be your insole. And we'll I'll take a quick look at it because I, I just want to quickly talk because it's already one part of this boot that I am a little concerned about, all right? And that would be the lining, all right? So check this out. I think it's this. Yeah, it is this one. All right, so see this little hump in there? See that little kind of hump bump thing? Let me see here, I'll put some light in there. Okay, so right there, see that little, uh, well, it just looks like something right there. All right, that wasn't there initially. So when I'm putting this boot on now, that liner, this part right here, on that, on my left foot, I'm hitting that thing and I'm trying to imagine what's gonna happen. Uh, Cause I think I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna tear that thing open and it's gonna happen pretty quick. And it's gonna, you know, create a pretty big sizable hole pretty quickly. And I, can, I can't feel it when I'm wearing them, but I, I feel as if like maybe it was, I don't know. I, I really don't know what it is. Like I can move it, like I just moved it. All right, it's like, it's just, it feels like extra material and it kind of got sloppy. All right, so check this one out on the other one. And this one would be my right foot. And so if I open this boot up, and I, I know this probably looks like a colonoscopy for Christ's sakes, but if you can kind of look in there, all right, it doesn't have it. It's pretty smooth all the way down and I don't hit anything. All right, so that's my right foot. Okay, come over to my left foot. Boom, you see that one right there? I'm hitting that thing. And it's right above the heel counter. So is that gonna be a problem? I think it's going to be a problem. I don't know if I should call Thoroughgood and say, hey, you know, guess what? I, I have a boot here. It's two months old. I haven't ruined it yet, but I got something in there, and I don't know if I'm going to rip through that or not. They're probably going to laugh at me, and I want to wear these things, so I don't know. I think I'm just going to give it a shot, hope for the best, you know what I mean, and then we'll see what happens. All right, let's take a quick look at the um, at the insole. I've been pretty happy. It's been, you know, it's been limited use so far. Like I said, I haven't hammered these yet and I'm going to. Um, they, these feel okay. I mean, they they feel okay. I'm, I'm very picky on insoles, but these things are comfortable. Man, these are comfortable. Like right off the bat, boom. They, the, there really isn't a break in on these. All right, so let's check out the inside really quick because I was wondering, yeah, okay, I was right, okay. So if you take a look in there on the bottom, do you see that? That is the... If you look in the very bottom where that footbed is, that is the um, the insulation. That is that waterproof membrane. So that is that is how they do that. They take it, and you're basically sitting on that. Now, underneath that would be your fiber board, you know, your um, fiber lasting board. Then it goes to your cork, and then it goes to your midsole and then outsole. So, yeah, so that is something to think about, you know, with waterproof boots because this is going to move around a bit, right? And I guess it could eat away at that, but I, I'm not, I just need waterproofing. I don't need to be like standing in three feet of water every day. I'm not, that's not my job. So I, as long as it can hold up pretty good, I'm, I think I'll be pretty happy. Really quickly on the laces. I hate these things. These, these were, I'm probably going to get rid of these. They're just really thin and they really, they don't have any bite. Like when I go to tighten these, they immediately loosen up because there's no friction on them. There's no... I don't know, there's no grab. I don't know if that, if that makes sense. They're just so thin and they don't have any waxy feeling on them. They don't have any like like memory retention to them. 
and I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of these. I'll get something else. I'll figure something out. But yeah, I just want to do a video. I'm going to wrap it up because I know I ramble on and on and on. I probably forgot a few things. Eight inch, 1957s, Thoroughgood, made in the USA with uh, exported components, I guess you could say. Um, very comfortable, decent warmth already. I'm going to put these things to the test. I'll probably do like a six month follow up. I'm going to start them off. You know, we're, we're in December right now. So we're going to start them off. I'll probably start rotating these things in to my work day, you know, the 10, 12 hour days in automotive, right? Then I'll definitely use them for um, any type of winter things I need done. I've already done a couple of projects around the house. I've gone casual wearing with these. I've um, I fixed some patio blocks the other day, just minor stuff, you know, just breaking stuff, trying to keep them looking decent. And I figured I'd do the quick video, the initial video, and then I'll do maybe a six month follow up, maybe like one short video. And then I just want to do like a year, a year end type of thing, see what they look like a year from now. And um, I saw this video really quick before uh, this morning and the guy's channel was T-Rod and he's like a landscaper down in Northern Florida, I think he said. I, I love this video. Like he shows you this boot after one year of severe abuse. I love that stuff. Like that is why I watch boot videos is to see how they hold up. You know, this guy, he hammered these things, never treated them one single time. We're talking fertilizers, lime, you know, weed killer, bug killer, all those chemicals hammering this thing every single day, right? And wiping out that wedge sole. And it's just, I love seeing that stuff. I just love seeing boots that are worked hard. And that's what I intend to do with these, is just give them a, a good solid year of severe use. And it's gonna start probably tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later.